everyone, I'm here in Zion National Park, and in this video, I'm gonna show you the Watchman Trail, how to hike the Watchman Trail. About three miles, a few hundred feet of climbing. Now, what I like about this trail is it's right from, starts from the visitor center. So if you've been driving all day, you just wanna hit the trail, you don't wanna take the shuttle bus full of people, you can park at the visitor center and just start hiking without any shuttle bus ride and get away from the crowds. When you get up top, you get these great views up Zion Canyon. It's a really nice trail and it's not too crowded either. Now, if you wanna do it, I have a full guide on my website, hikingguide.com. There's a link to that under the video where I'll talk about maps and where to park and where the trail starts and all of the logistical stuff. And if you're liking the video, if you can give me a thumbs up, I appreciate it. This entire channel is uh, supported and the website is supported by viewers uh, like you. So uh, if you want to support the site, I appreciate it. And if you've supported the site, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let me uh, show you this cool, cool trail. All right, so we're going to start at the visitor center. And once you go past the visitor center, you'll see the shuttle bus stop. Now, there'll be signs here for the Watchman Trail, also the Paris Trail. But we're just going to go past the shuttle stop here and we'll keep on walking until we go towards the road a little bit. You can see the road in the distance and there's signs pointing us in the right direction. Eventually, we're going to reach the road. We're going to cross over the road carefully because you can see people are not stopping at the crosswalks. And we're just going to go through here. Now, right past there, there's a sign for the Watchman Trail on the right. And once we come around this bend, we're gonna look to the left. There's a small trail here to the left. And there's a little sign, and this is the start of the Watchman Trail. This part's a little bit tricky, but once you get on this, you should be okay. And we're gonna walk on a flat part in the beginning. We're gonna be following the Virgin River on the left. Parking lots will be over on the right. And we're just gonna continue on this mellow trail. Here's the river, muddy from some rain. We're just going to continue on this until we get to the road again. Now, the next road is uh, basically for park employees, so it'll be close to the public. We're going to go across this. There's a sign on the left there for the Watchman Trail. We're just going to go across this and then start taking the trail up to the left over there. Here we go. We're going to go up these stairs. The first few minutes of this trail are sort of up and down. We're gonna get some nice views as we could go along and follow the road there. There's some nice views up in the Zion Canyon. Really pretty right away. And within like, this is maybe five, 10 minutes into the hike, you feel like you're a world away from the visitor center at this point. Now the trail winds in towards this canyon and we're gonna be climbing up that canyon to the overlook, which is that big rock sort of in the foreground over there. There's this neat little section of steps where we cross the wash right here. And once we go up these stairs, we're going to start the climbing. We're going to probably do about, I don't know, about 500 feet of climbing in this section alone. You can see the trail up there. That's where we're going eventually. We're going to have to do some switchbacks on this side of the canyon, and then we'll go up there. Really cool sandstone formations that you kind of go past here. These are about 200 million years old, and uh, a lot of times you can find dinosaur tracks in them. Not here. But there's a dinosaur, uh, I think there's a dinosaur track kind of farm a little bit outside of here, maybe in Hurricane or St. George, somewhere around there. But nice views as you go up, you can see the switchbacks down below us. We're going to do a series of switchbacks here. It's not too tough, but you'll probably sweat a little bit. And eventually we're going to come up to the mouth of the canyon. A little bit of water flowing there. In the spring, it's really flowing. You could hear it through the whole canyon. But once we pass that, crossing over to the other side. And if you look down, you can see the trail. That's where I pointed up from before. And I said, we're going up there. Well, now we're up there. And at this point, the bulk of the climbing is done. And we're gonna come out to this little plateau area. You're gonna see these signs for a loop trail. And we're gonna to wanna to take the loop, which is a little lollipop loop at the top. A lot of people just stop here and hang out. This is not the end of the trail. And there are better views to be had if we continue down and this loop trail, we're going to do it counterclockwise. That's the way the park recommends it. We're going to go downhill a little bit here. Eventually, we're going to come out at this plateau. And we're going to make the left. And obviously, there's nice views over there. But we're going to make the left and continue hiking around. There's the trail we came up earlier. The trail will be going down later. And you can see there's more of these signs for loop trail 
there are a lot of trails, kind of use trails crisscrossing around here can kind of get confusing, but there's definitely a main trail that's fairly well marked. And when we come around, we're going to get to this junction and the loop goes off to the left over there. That's the way we're going to go back. But the watchman overlook is on the right here. That's the watchman in front of us. I'll show it to you in a second. But it's the peak that sort of guards the entrance to Zion Canyon. But here we are at Watchman Overlook. Nice views across the canyon, up the canyon, up towards the area where the shuttle bus will go, towards the Narrows. And when we're done there, we're just going to continue going. And you're going to get the best views of the Watchman, which is the pointy peak up to the right here, on the loop back. Bridge Mountain in front of us. Really, really beautiful views. We're going to follow the loop short ways. We're going to go up some steps to kind of make up the climbing where we went down in the beginning. And before you know it, we'll be back at the plateau where we uh, started the little loop. And then from here, you just go back down the way you came. If you stick around for a second, I'll show you this uh, route on a map. All right, so here we are. This is the hike route. I just wanted to zoom out like this so you can see this is the watchman up here. And here's Springdale, which is the town. We're going to come in and go to the visitor center, but the watchman is sort of looming to the south over here. And then up here is where the shuttle bus goes. If we go down to the visitor center, let me just give you a lay of the land. So when you pull into the visitor center, this is the big parking lot. Hopefully you can park there. I'll talk about parking on the website. But we go to the visitor center, go past the shuttle bus stop right here, and loop around, and this is where we cross the street. We take the trail on this flat section. The river right here is the Virgin River that goes up the canyon. Here's the RV parking. We did this flat section. We crossed the road again. And then we went around and hugged the road. We turned into the canyon. And then if you look up here, you can see this is a little bit of climbing that we have to do. This is where I showed you the trail goes up there. But we go up and we do this lollipop loop here. We come in here. You can see here are these switchbacks that we went up, crossed through the mouth of the canyon, and then looped around. This is the part where it got flat. So once you're about here, the climbing is basically done. But we come up to this plateau, and then we do the loop. Now this was the area we went through where those people were sitting. This is where we came out, the, the viewpoint over there. We kept going around to the other viewpoints. Let me see if I can get around here. Here we go. This is the viewpoint where we can see up into Zion Canyon. Let's zoom out a little bit here. You'll see. That wasn't good. There we go. There you can see we're looking down at Zion Canyon. And if we look the other way, we can see up to the Watchmen right there. And then from there, we just continue the loop around. Here we go. There you can see, we continue to loop around and we come back up to that plateau. And then you just go back the way you came back down to the visitor center. And that is the hike.